Hey guys, I'm out here today. I got a new product in the mail. What the heck is that doing there? Anyways, um, got my Christmas present from my mom. Finally came in the mail. And it has to do with my Mossberg 930 shotgun that I've set up for three gun competition mainly. Um, I can use it for other things if I limit the capacity right now. Um, it has an 8 plus 1 capacity plus you can go slow if you want and get 10. But, anyways, there's that. The only ammo I have today is this. It's a little more expensive, but it's all I could find. And got a few shells in my pocket I don't have a tripod this is on my phone but it does really good quality video so I'm using that for a second to get this off and let you see the shotgun maybe Nordic Components charging handle, Nordic Components getting a little washed out on the light, there you go, extension tube, it's a plus four, and the new th item, the 22 inch vent ribbed barrel with fiber optic sights and it came with an extra extra full turkey choke tube on it for some reason I'll have to get a different one so I can shoot slugs I don't quite dare shoot a slug through that but as you can see makes my gun look pretty awesome get a view of the sights right there as you can see kind of um, the front sights fine this back one moves around you can like do windage and stuff but it's not very secure so I might switch that out but other than that it's great it'll help me out a lot for making slug shots and whatever because before I only had a bead sight and it's almost impossible so anyways I'm gonna switch to the other camera load up do some shooting okay super snowy but let's load up and shoot Safety on. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shells. That's the capacity of this tube. And I may make it more sometime in the future. Am I even filming? God, yes. <laughs> Anyways. I don't really have any targets out. They had all my cardboard got wet. So I'm basically going to blast sh snow. I've got a Coke can out there. Hopefully you can see that in frame and see me. And let's see what this heavy target load and a extra, extra full turkey choke tube do to a Coke can in the snow. I really hope you can see both of us. <laughs> Damn, that kicks. 
Those are those are some heavy loads. Let's see. Get the camera off. I thought it would blow it up a lot more than that. As you can tell, the snow is quite deep. Kind of sucks. Eh, we got a little bit of splatter. Not much, though. Look at the pattern, though, the shot pattern. Look how narrow this channel is. And it honestly dug out a channel. With my other cylinder bore, it would have made a round circle. It would have never made a channel like this. That's pretty nice, actually. Let's uh, make sure the safety's on. Gonna do something semi-dangerous. Gonna look at the muzzle. See if I can get my camera to focus. No uh, visible damage. No marks. Anyways. Um, I don't know what else to shoot. <laughs> shoot some more snow. Um, those loads are really nice. They cycle the gun well. It's kicking me back though. Definitely a little bit heavier loads than the cheapest bulk stuff. I think though, for running my gun reliably, they might be a good load to try out. It's generally in a three gun match, I don't need all that much anyways, 100 rounds. And uh, it might be worth it. Now, this gun runs all the cheap ammo. The only reason it occasionally doesn't is certain types use an aluminum head on the shell or whatever you call that. The metal part is aluminum rather than brass and it bulges out and gets stuck in there and you know they don't have that much recoil or gas extra gas to run it as it is so if it bulges out and gets tight in there sometimes it won't completely eject around it will still cycle but it will get stuck with the plastic in there these definitely will not be doing that anyways I'm gonna put the camera down load up again and uh, maybe try and find something to shoot <laughs> okay I've got the camera on the tripod I'm moving it let's go walk through some snow let's see if we can get some shots of that got nine rounds in a few more in my pocket hopefully I'm not somewhere where someone's gonna shoot me there's a bunch of other shooters up here and stuff. I'm gonna shoot that stump right there. See what happens. Oh! Almost. Not quite. What do you think? One more round, maybe two, if I can hit it, right? <laughs> there you go. There's the results of today's shooting. That full choke really concentrates a lot of power in one spot. Looks like a tannerite bomb went off all the fragment marks in the snow behind it so 10 shots and I probably wasn't hitting very well on all of them could probably do it in less to cut an old stump in half pretty cool okay gotta really lean into this actually pretty heavy recoil And 
and I cut a piece of uh, sagebrush apart. That was pretty good though. That felt good to me. I'm gonna shoot. I don't know if you can even see it. Up where I cut that thing in half, that stump, I'm gonna shoot up there at that red coffee, plastic coffee can or whatever the heck that was that was up there. See how the shot stays together, see how these iron sights work with like bird shot and stuff. So here we go. Try and get the barrel in the frame. That was pretty right on. I think I hit. Be nice to have a slug. I think I hit right by it though. Or am I going high? I can't really tell. Let's get something a little closer. One of these bundles of bushes. Yeah, that was right on for that. Right on. I think it's hitting right on, honestly. I think I'm super close. Okay, now this shot's a little scary for me, but I trust in this full turkey choke tube and barrel and gun that I'm not going to shoot my camera. Make sure there's no damage on my tripod. And there's not. Awesome. Oh! <laughs> Oh, that's funny. All right, I'm out of shotgun shells. I think I've got three left and I'm gonna do them off camera. See you guys.